grab yourself a glass of wine you know i would do the same i don't like chilling your wine but here yeah, it's very hot it's very hot so this wine has been in the fridge it feels so cold but now for the questions of this heat we are saying which we're not supposed to be drinking anything that is alcoholic and i do understand because hot wine or rather like room temperature wine <laughs> you know it's something else anyway as you can tell by the title of this video we are talking about the things that are not that we are not going to be doing this december and i'm saying this is your sister you guys you know i'm turning 30 next year so i'm now you're like your older sister when i'm telling you those things you should listen to me because they'll save you a lot now let's take our first sip cheers can come Nice. This is Shuya's, by the way. I do have a list here. I actually wrote a list. Imagine. Do not mind my background. This is my room. This is my bedroom, my kitchen, my everything. This is my house. Umuziwami. <laughs> when I say good thing, this is what I'm referring to. Why am I doing this video? Well, I do this video because in Zimbabwe, when it comes to this season, strange things happen and this is more like a special season for us in Zimbabwe why because us Zimbabweans were all over the country or rather the world were all over the world and so this season Christmas season is the only time basically for most that people come back home or that people gather around in Zimbabwe or that we are like more saturated in Zimbabwe if you want to check the numbers of Zimbabweans a check in December, the number is very is very big. I'm saying this because Upendua in Jiva, Upendua Ama Desperians that are coming from the UK, the USA, uh, Australia, New Zealand. You know, we the one thing about Zimbabweans, we are everywhere. But in December, we do come back. But for me to safeguard you as Usiswen, I'm talking to those who are very, very young, not married, who are still looking forward to get married, who are still looking forward to having partners and everything. These are some of the things that I'm going to be teaching you. And also some of those things they don't really involve uh, you know, you having a partner but just safeguarding yourself. How to survive during this first season okay so without wasting much time let's get into the video so first thing first i am going to tell you my girl is over to there is no relationship that starts in december or end of november or rather in november there is absolutely no proper relationship that starts during the festive season <sighs> if you see that crush of yours that crush of yours, that friend of yours, that person of yours that you have been talking to for a very long time and they want to accelerate things in December or November. Please run. Run for your life. Run for your life. There is no problem. People in December are looking for fun buddies. People in December are looking for vibes. So if unless you're into that, if you are into that, then you can go ahead and just do those things with those people. But if you are actually looking like for a proper, proper relationship, I suggest you just like pause it a little bit or try to prolong it a little bit and then maybe continue in December to see if test the waters to see if the waters are still watery. You understand? <laughs> because honestly, you will have a one month relationship that will only last in December. And after that, they will go back to their boring boyfriends, boring girlfriends. And you'll be left out there. When our vibes so cheap, you understand? When somebody says, I'm in your city, please tell them to go introduce themselves to the mayor or to the councillor of that city. Who are we? Why, who are you? Why are they announcing to you that they're in your city? So they're in your city. So what? 
So what? Are you the city tour guide? Are you the city tour guide? No, you are not. Please don't be disrespected by a man. A person will stay for months, weeks without talking to you. And immediately when they decide to be in the same vicinity as you, you're the first person that they call a new city. I'm in your city, I'm in your town, I'm in your hood. Eh, hey, so what? So what? Do not be disrespected this season. Oh my god, I'm wearing vibes check. Oh my god, no, cause I like eh. No. Cause for your people, for your people that you are used to, for your people that you have been with through thick and thin, through January and December. I'm saying all those things because some of these things I've experienced. And uh, the disrespect that comes with I'm in your sister city is it's just too much it's like a person knows oh wait, when i go to a certain city i've got this person for vibes when i go to mtari i've got this person to contact for vibes unless that's what you want please go ahead but <laughs> you guys are chilling or you've got people that you know and they decide oh wait, they are doing something fine they plan that thing it's planned you know cha -cha 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 and then when uh, you are invited, like last minute, how do you know it's last minute? Because you know what those people have been planning this. Or you get invited to go have some drinks. More nine ever so. More eight ever so. More seven. In fact, from seven up to up to like 10 p.m. They will invite. If someone says, ah, can we go for drinks? Or we are coming to get you. More seven. You are telling me in one seven that you're coming to get me. When I at my age right now, I am not going anywhere in one seven. I am not leaving my house in one seven. I, 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 will I would rather be told like at 5 or at 4 p.m. And then I get prepared. I prepare, I prepare, I live at 7. Yes. But you cannot tell me to prepare myself in one seven. To have the guts to check out your phone hi pixie i am coming to get you oh hi pixie can we go and hang up huh huh so mean i must get up now after programming my mind would know i'm spending my nights in St. Jimmy and drinking my wine now i must program myself obviously someone else is coming to get me i must start preparing more saving <laughs> Never. So, fine, Nana, you've decided to go out. Go out with your friends or with other people, you know. Or, but usually you go out with your friends or your people that you know. Fine, you've decided to go out with those people that you know or a person that wants you or a person that is interested in you. Fine. When it comes to drinks, if you feel over to you don't trust the person, do not take open drinks. If you are taking an open drink, let it come directly from the waiter. And also look at the waiter when he or she is coming to you. Or with a direct contact with the buyer or the person that is buying you alcohol. You know why? Because there are several people that have been drugged. They've been drugged because of what? <laughs> of open alcohol. That's why when I am out there, when I'm out there, I do not like drinking wine. I only drink wine when I know I bought the bottle and I'm the one who keeps on pouring from that bottle. I drink wine when I am at home because I know I'll never drag myself. If I drag myself, which means I want to sleep or it's my fault. I know who did it. It's me. I am I only drink wine when I'm with my friends, my girlfriends. Cheat. Mostly when I'm with other people. I definitely have to see. I love cocktails. I love cocktails. I have to see that the buyer did not have any interaction with the waiter. The other thing is if you don't have backup money, if you don't have backup money, do not go anywhere. 
what do I mean by backup money? When I was in college, you know, in college we do these things where we do have drink ups, we go out, we have drinks, get invited by your uh, male friends, uh, male classmates, male, male, you know, schoolmates, and everything. But then when you get to wherever you are, it's time for you to come back home. You can't just stop people from having fun. You know, people stop having fun at different intervals. I wanna go home. I wanna go home. I wanna go home. I will spend the whole night at a bar and come back home at five. So, my girlie, I'm saying do not go out if you do not have big up money money to buy yourself alcohol in case someone tries to disrespect you because one hand when you can't buy yourself anything two you must have money for transport back home if you're not driving like me you understand you must have money to have transport or thirdly you must have an, a definite backup a definite backup that you know that if i call this person they're definitely going to come and get me going out there yes it is fun and everything but you cannot confirm people you cannot trust people worse in this first season season festive season things weird things are happening some people have got weird rushes some people have got weird um, you know experience that they want to do with people so just make sure do not absolutely go and i don't go out if i don't have anything to take care of myself i don't if you see me everything being paid for and everything best believe that if that person goes i can still remain in that place and i do all those things myself best believe that if that person was not there i could have done all those things myself you understand so always have backup money if you don't have money if you don't have the funds do not go anywhere me. i have never died i literally spend almost 90 percent of my life indoors if i do not travel i spend 90 percent of my life indoors i have never died i think it's good for my skin so take it from me <laughs> one thing about the gut ne? let's talk about the gut one thing about the gut do not disrespect that thing that thing is like an alarm that was inserted in you by God to ring every time something happens or every time something is about to happen. It's like a warning alarm. It's like a siren. Trust it. Trust it. There are several times where I have trusted my God and I have not regretted it the gut is like a tool that we have been given by god god just puts these things in the here and there you just need to know how to use this this it's like gadgets you know it's an it, it personal just say it's like in gadgets like a sensor inside of you you know oh let's see whenever it's got say somebody invites you out especially in this festive season there are so many accidents so many weird things that are happening if you get invited out and your gut says nah you're not feeling it if you are not feeling it trust it trust that gut do not go anywhere do not leave home if you're not 100 percent sure the, the gut is it's like a portal through which god talks to us through which our ancestors talk to us and try to warn us against doing something so if your gut says no no matter how many butterflies you feel, do not go. Do not do it. Especially in festive season. Because there are so many spirits that are roaming around in the festive season in December. So there are so many spirits that just want to collect bodies. So you may ne not be as lucky as any other month. This month might be your demise. Or because you didn't listen to your God. You do not have to attend every event that is being advertised every event that you have seen that you've heard about you do not absolutely have to attend one thing about social media you will see events left right center you will see munch and sip you will see this uh, drink and jive 
you see this this and that you see this this and that my girlie you do not have to attend each and everything and if you see people on social media hyping something up i'm very guilty of doing that i am very very guilty of doing that i will hype an event up on social media and tell you i can't even wait to go will you see me there absolutely not i will wake up decide to do laundry and just sit at home do not follow social media trends they go there through social media they don't even leave their homes so no you do not have to that's one thing you do not have to attend each and every event this event the events they're almost similar they're almost the same especially during the festive season you only have like four or five weekends you festive season you do not have to attend each and every show that's happening this is, there will be a show on thursday there will be a show on friday there will be a show on saturday and sunday there will be show four shows every weekend you do you do not you do not have to in Jivazia, guys that's where people are coming back into the country they will promise they will promise to take you back with them they will promise to bring you things they will tell you that they've got this 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 and that a goal i've got this 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 and that in uk in uk se in australia in ireland in sweden in wherever they'll promise you may we do not fall for what people are seeing do not fall for what people are telling you if you don't see it it does not exist it is not there action has to speak louder than words in this festive season why because that's 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 that's, just, that's, that's the truth that's they will tell you best of promises you will be child best of promises so if you have not seen it it does not exist therefore you do not believe it the only thing that we believe without seeing is god is the existence of god and the existence of our ancestors that is the thing that we believe without seeing Upela. Upela. do not be baby girl do not believe anything that you are told and you do not see Loko ukuthi nje viza ukuthi imodaleni layo ngithile goli uyihlelene uyihlelene awuya kutshela ukuthi eh lokho lokho ngilakho ngithile goli oh i've got this 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 in my house i will take you back with me why is it why you only you just not yes 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 but you only believe it when you see it anyway guys i'm done talking i'm done talking so not to let it nonsense all because of festive season or because somebody decided to leave the country that they were in and decided to come back into the country and find you and now you have to accept the nonsense no do not anyway guys from me fixie i'll see you guys in my next video bye